Hello, guys. A little bit of an impromptu live stream. Dan Evans versus uh, Sebastian Corder. Uh, this has been a very, very topsy-turvy uh, match. It really has been very interesting, to say the least. Sebastian Corder, two, set, two sets to one up. And also, uh, well, three, two down, but it's still on serve. So, yeah, 15 love, though, actually, here to Sebastian Corder. Uh, so it's still on serve. And uh, look, he's looking good, though. He's looking very good, is Sebastian Corder. Um, as is Dan Evans, though, to be honest with you. And they're both looking good. Um, and they're both, I think, tricky players to play against on the grass. So uh, that's good. Uh, impressive stuff uh, so far from Dan Evans to keep up because Sebastian Corder is a very talented player. But similarly, you know, I think that Sebastian Corder has been very, very good. Um, I've been impressed, actually, to be honest with you, with how well he's played. Um, he's been good. He does seem to have a little bit of a knee brace. Um, Dan Evans, obviously, a little bit unorthodox in the way that he plays. Uh, but Sebastian Corder is adaptive for the most part, anyway. So um, that's been good to see. Um, and it's been a really, really good match to watch, genuinely. Like, so good to watch. I've, I've absolutely loved watching it. So hopefully... Yeah, it continues because it's been really, really cool so far. Um, so, Kaya says, yo, yo, indeed. The surprise to see Kyrgios and Venus doing doubles. Yeah, that's really cool. What a fantastic matchup, right? Genuinely, like, unbelievable to see those guys doing it. Uh, I think it's only a good thing, really. I mean, Venus will be able to teach Kyrgios some things for sure. Um, and I think they'll have a lot of fun. So, looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing those guys uh, get on with it. Alex BG1 says, Hey, mate, did you end up watching Kyrgios Umber at Wimbledon? Yeah, I did. Um, I went, obviously, to day two. So I ended up seeing Zverev uh, against Greikspor. Medvedev versus Struff. That was a really good match. Kerber uh, versus uh, Stojanovic, which was a very good match as well. Kerber looked good. And also um, ended up watching Kyrgios Umber. Well, up until three all in the fifth and then obviously they finished the next day but i left because of the curfew so they kicked everyone out on the curfew at 11 but yeah really really good fun um also if anyone that doesn't know we've managed to reach 1k subscribers and that's thanks to all you guys who have been tuning in and supporting the channel so appreciate it let's continue and let's get on the road to 2k if possible um please you want to smash the like button of course and subscribe we also now have apparently super i don't know if it, i can't see it but according to one of the subscribers we do have super chat capability so yeah uh, that's all good as well Sebastian Corder for a big guy moves pretty well uh, the young American obviously a little prodigy in a way because he's got uh, a sister who is number one uh, golfer in the world at the moment another sister who's a golfer as well professional and pretty damn good his dad obviously won the Australian Open a former tennis player and his, his mom was a tennis player as well so he's basically just growing up into it apparently though they were pretty not lenient on him but they didn't force him into it which is good to hear because you don't want that uh, by any stretch of the imagination uh, you want uh, someone to enjoy it and not get forced into it because otherwise it's a bit of a nightmare really uh, but anyway Sebastian Corda uh, is two sets of one up here and yeah it is on serve I think at the moment, though, uh, the one thing I will say is uh, that Sebastian Corder has the bigger serve, um, which will make a difference, but he's just slipped there and his knee is strapped up a little bit, so that won't help. And we've actually got a break point because of that slip. Dan Evans just slices cross court into the open court. So 30 40 here, and uh, a little bit of pressure here now uh, for Sebastian Corder. Uh, XPG1 says, nice, Kyrgios doubles match gets first preference here on Australian TV. That's cool. That'll be really good to watch, actually, as well. I think him playing mixed doubles, I think he'll enjoy it. And I think, I actually think him playing doubles is only a good thing, um, for sure. And, and especially with Venus, I just have a feeling that they will get on really well. Um, and, and it'll be a good, good matchup. So let's see. I will, uh, well, I should definitely be doing, if not all of the Murray Shapovalov match. Uh, at least some of it. I'm going to do some of this match. Uh, then I'm going to go and eat. And Evans gets the break. That is huge. It's a mishit forehand by by a quarter. Goes long and it looks like we might get into a five-setter. So the Murray-Shepovalov match 
might end up being oh my it, flipping heck it could be on at whenever Alex BG1 says, are you watching, are you switching to the Murray Chapeau match when it starts? Mate, it's after this match. It's, it's not, uh, so it's on centre court. So Evans and Corder's on centre court. Uh, Murray Chapeau will be on centre court as well. So it'll only come on after this match finishes. So, which is why I was saying that, oh, Corder gets very lucky with a net cord, a couple of drop shots, and it just, just P rolls over the net. Uh, very fortunate for Smash and Corder. Good little touch and feel, though, from both players. Nice to see. So Murray can end up coming on to centre court. If it goes to five sets, he could be coming on at like eight o'clock, to be honest with you. Nine o'clock even, if it goes longer, obviously. We have an epic fifth set, but it looks like this match is heading into a fifth set. So uh, most likely I'll be doing this up and uh, for another half an hour or so, this match, and then uh, going to grab some grub. And then knowing Murray, he'll be on for like five hours. So, um, well, they have to finish at 11 anyway, but knowing him, he'll be on for a long time. So... Uh, last time I covered like the first three sets of his and then he went to five against Otter. So uh, I had to go and play tennis, but a uh, venue might be on a bit later as well, probably later, later uh, in, the, in the late eve. So we might share it. I'll probably do the first few hours and he might, if it goes on longer, he'll probably do it as well. Um, but yeah, we'll be good. We'll be good. Um, you know what, actually, a lot of you guys, some of you I haven't talked to too much as well. Uh, as of yet, let me know in terms of uh, matches. What do you think has been the best match so far of Wimbledon? And also, what are you looking forward to? Uh, maybe today or tomorrow in the third round matches. What's your pick of the matches? I think Cameron Norrie, Roger Federer is going to be a good one. And Dan Evans has gone off the boil in this game. Uh, he's now having to save three break points after just breaking a clear kind of just, just switching off. Sometimes when you break someone, you take it for granted and you just switch off a little bit and think, oh, yeah, I'm in front now. I just need to hold serve. And you kind of take take it for granted that, look, you've got to consolidate that break. And unfortunately, he didn't. Um, out wide to the backhand, but he tries to go around that. He tries to run around the backhand quarter. I'm not sure why on the forehand side. Didn't have much time and uh, saves one break point or the first break point, Dan Evans. Alex says, on the same court. Gotcha, thanks. Uh, Smain says, hi, Fazan, 11 p.m. here. Nice one. Nice. Here we go. Can he save another one? Oh, yes, he can. Very good service. Unreturnable. Really impressive from uh, Dan Evans. Good serving. Uh, it's definitely serving him well. Get it? Like the pun? Ridiculous. Also, what's the sound like as well? Obviously, I've got this new mic uh, that my wife got me um, for my birthday, actually. A little birthday prezi. Uh, but what's the new mic like? Is it better than before? Is the sound a bit better? Apparently, I had one subscriber or one actually it's when i did the collab with gil gross um all good serve out well i thought it was a good serve out wide but it's a fault to second serve big chance here for sebastian corder to get the break oh double fault double fault so it's a double fault and he's got the break sebastian corder so it's back on serve dan evans has had a bit of a brain fart there to be honest with you yes has really poor he shakes his head and he you can tell he's just not happy with himself i thought it was going to head into a fifth set i don't know because to be honest this is this is following the pattern of play that happened in the first set he was a break up then he got broken back so it's went back on to serve and then he got broken again he lost three games in a row and it kind of screwed screwed him over a little bit so let's see but he does not look happy and i wouldn't be the, he for dan evans look he obviously is not the most talented player ever but he is got he has got talent i think his biggest obstacle is the mental side of things and he tends to switch off sometimes so it's clearly happening here and he needs to just he needs to just get himself back up, forget about it, put it behind him. The best players just put it behind them and they go again. Uh, so let's see. Spain says the sound quality is coming nice and good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I'm hoping it's doing a bit better. But yeah, so I, when I did the collaboration with Gil Gross for the Wimbledon preview, uh, someone commented saying, uh, like, you know, good, great, like, nice video. He said, uh, you know, hopefully uh, you're able to invest in a, in a better mic. Uh, because sound quality is not very good. I was like, okay, fair enough. <laughs> and luckily, obviously, my wife got me this, so I can't complain. And it seems a lot better anyway. Um, very professional, isn't it? Like me. Right, very good. 
very good from Sebastian Corder clipping the line. You can see, so when you watch it live and obviously on the TV, you can see the paint from the lines like puff up uh, at Wimbledon. It's quite cool. So you know it's hit a line uh, and you know that it's an ace. Again, he's gone again. Really good. So both serves. The first one, the juice side, was out wide to the forehand, uh, was an ace. Second one was down the tee again to the forehand side. 11 aces for quarter, zero for Evans. So a bit of a damning stat there. Well, I say damning stat. He's still very much in this, Dan Evans. But I think uh, Sebastian Corder obviously at times is able to shorten the points, uh, which helps a lot. And that's a shank from Dan Evans on the backhand side. He tries to uh, punch through it, and unfortunately he cannot. So he says, for some, will you be doing your 2021 quality shot awards for cricket with Ashton and Venu? Yeah, of course I will be. Yep, I will be. I'll be doing it for uh, cricket, tennis, and also boxing this year. So uh, that will be at the end of the year, 100%. Also, the Cricket World Cup's coming up as well uh, later on uh, this year. So big coverage for that as well. Keep an eye out for it, of course. Uh, very good serve from Sebastian Corder. Another ace, so three in that game. And he holds and starts putting pressure on Dan Evans now because it's four games all. And we're into the business end of this. Uh, well, we're into the business end of this set now. So let's see. Let's see. Guys, we've got quite a few people on now. Please do remember to smash the like button. Please, if you don't mind, read really us help the channel to grow. And also subscribe if you haven't as well. Again, just uh, helps us out a lot. So I appreciate it. Good serve. Clipping the line from Dan Evans. Then coming to the net. But doesn't need to because it's a good approach shot. And Sebastian Quarter doesn't manage to get the backhand over the net just bending and i think he's so tall he's six foot five seb quarter so he's definitely had a little bit of issues trying to uh, bend down slice and you know it's not been easy for him to be fair because dan evans is quite tricky and he likes hitting low over the net as so he's doing it again here and smashing quarter really having to bend those knees really good drop shot though dragging dan evans out really classy and sebastian quarter is a, a player like he's only just turned 21 or will just turn 21 He's someone to look out for. He's that crop of next-gen stars coming through. Uh, he seems to have his head screwed on on pretty tight as well. Looks quite, yeah, I want to say sensible. He just looks quite driven, determined, and doesn't look super arrogant. He looks quite quite humble and just tuned in and dialed in. Uh, does serve quarter. So I watched a little bit of his match against Dimano because that's when I went to Wimbledon. It was on one of the outside courts. And obviously he beat... Alex Dimono, the number 15 seed, and someone who a lot of people were backing to get to the quarters of uh, Wimbledon. That's a fantastic back another line from Seb Quarter because he'd won uh, Eastbourne, uh, which is one of the grass court tournaments before Wimbledon. Uh, we're into a rally back and down the line from Seb Quarter. Dan Evans managing to get a good forehand himself down the line, and we're this is a quality rally. Uh, Seb Quarter, though, dictating from the back and just making Evans run side to side and just scramble. And eventually, uh, he succumbs to the pressure of Seb Quarter and has to hit the forehand long, uh, just retrieving balls left, right, and center. Almost, uh, well, it was almost basically like a, a ball machine, really. Uh, it was Seb Quarter. And Dan Evans just really having to work hard for some of the points on the serve. And John, John McElroy saying exactly the same thing, right? Like, unfortunately, Dan Evans doesn't get many free points on the serve because it's just not particularly big. Uh, well, in comparison to Seb Quarter, anyway. Uh, the spot serving is there, and I, maybe not as maybe doesn't hit his spots as much as he could potentially. Ooh, good slice from uh, Dan Evans, but ooh, I thought that was going to go over. I thought it's going to go over from uh, Seb Quarter, but it doesn't. It's a drop shot attempt again. This time, though, it doesn't get over. It uh, cr well, it crashes. It really softly gently caresses the net and drops down so 30 all and a much needed uh well much needed break really for the dan evans here at four games or if he manages to hold he puts a lot of pressure on seb quarter serving to stay in the set um and a lot of people tend to crumble at times during those periods so this is a really big point here at 30 all unfortunately the first serve goes long and it's a second serve here for the uh american to have a look at Oh, he's double faulted. You can't be double faulting it on those points. Oh, dear. Break point opportunity here for Sebastian Corder. And Dan Evans is... Uh, he looks very much in a pickle. This is crazy, you know, because he could if he loses this set, obviously, that's it. It's done. Done and dusted. And he, he had a chance. 
Uh, this is crazy if he loses this. Oh, eclipse the line. It's a good lob, though, from Sebastian Quarter Diamonds has come up to the net. Good backhand volley, and then he loops the forehand long, and he looks absolutely livid. And Sebastian Quarter gets the break, and potentially this is going to be the match because Sebastian Quarter now just has to serve for the match after Dan Evans was 4 2 up. That's so poor, seriously. That's really poor from Dan Evans. It's a little, well, I don't want to call it a choke, but it's not great. Not great. Alex BG wants us, do you have a favourite British player to watch? Uh, Cam Norrie's been in very good form this year. I did used to watch, like, I used to like watching Andy Murray quite a bit. Um, a bit of a cliche answer, to be fair, um, Andy Murray. But I think the reason as well why Andy Murray resonated so much with people is because we didn't really have we haven't really had someone like that since probably Tim Hemmen who was able to compete with the best and and he actually managed to beat the best as well uh you no know, quite a few times yes for the most part like he wasn't on the winning side but made 11 grand slam for no sorry he made yeah he made 11 i think 11 grand slam finals obviously winning 3 and i i wouldn't say his style is the most attractive to watch but <sighs> He grinds and is exciting at times because the rallies are long and he really does dig in and he gets involved emotionally. So it's interesting. Uh, so I'd say him. Uh, but Dan Evans, when he's on fire and on song, he's very interesting to watch. He can be quite exciting. One-hander as well. Uh, very unorthodox in the way that he plays. Can Rory as well against Federer tomorrow. It's going to be a good match now. I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as people think. Uh, here we go. Into a rally, a very long rally. Uh, into out forehands from Sebastian Corder and then a backhand down the line and misses it. Goes wide with the backhand. So uh, we have 15 love on Sebastian Corder's serve and that's already pressure now early doors here for the American. He's serving for the match here, uh, but it's not going to be easy. He's going to have to... Uh, he's going to have to make sure that he really tightens up that first serve. Let's see. Goes big down the tee. Dan Evans retrieves that. It's now a smash potentially in the middle of the court. And he misses the smash. That is a huge miss. Wow. We. And that's what Nerves does to you. He just makes Sebastian Corder play basically another extra shot that he probably wasn't expecting. It's a really big serve. He's probably expecting it to be an ace. Dan Evans just lobs it up and just tries to get anything back in. Sebastian Corder has a very, very easy smash. He completely bottles it, really. And hits it straight into the net. So 30 love here to Dan Evans on special quarter serve. So love 30. And a really huge point here. And you know what? He delivers. That is a huge serve from Sebastian Quarter. Goes down the tee. And I think that's kept the line. But Dan Evans is calling. Well, he is uh, challenging. But I think that's kept the line though. Yeah, it's well in. Well in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was saying that when I started the stream. Yeah, his dad's won the Australian Open. His mum was also a tennis player. Uh, I think his older sister is number one uh, player in women's golf at the moment. And his other sister is a golf player as well. But yeah, he's won the Australian Open, which is really cool. And obviously his coach as well. Seems to have his head screwed on. He seems to be pretty uh, dialed in. Here we go. 15.30, a big point here. Can he open up break points? No, he can't because Sebastian Corder comes up with the goods. That's a beautiful backhand. Bends those knees, hits through the ball. Really impressive stuff from the American. He just he's got effortless power, and some people have that, and he is one of those guys that does. Obviously, a six foot five as well. But he's mobile for six foot five. He's like your Zverevs, your Medvedevs, where they get around the court pretty well, and he's one of those uh one of those people. So 30 all here in a really huge point. Again, I mean every point in this game is gonna be big. Oh, gets the ace down the tee. That's a huge serve. And that's what I mean. The serve just makes such a big difference. Dan Evans, right, when he was in trouble, he didn't have the opportunity to just go big down the tee and say, you know what, I can hit an ace here. Because if he goes down the tee, he's still going to get it back. Right, so 50 winners for Sebastian Quarter, 21 for Dan Evans. Uh, shows the kind of attacking intent from the American. And Dan Evans looks absolutely... He looks so frustrated. This is not the time to get frustrated. Your match point down. Oh, and that's the first serve, the second serve to have a look at here. Come on, take him to juice, take him to juice. 
It's a slice return and win to a rally here. Sebastian Corden managed to just get that backhand over shorter than coming to the net here. Oh, go on, put that way. Yes, he does. Oh, he puts away the smash and Sebastian Corder wins here at Wimbledon and he makes the fourth round of Wimbledon. He is unseeded here, beating obviously Alex Demino, the number 15 seed. He's now beating the number 22 seed in Dan Evans and the youngster is progressing and he looks pretty damn good here. The serve firing really well. Uh, he's definitely suited to this uh, surface and he's a big hitter. Got a good touch, pretty good at the net as well. I tell you what, He's not going to be an easy player to face, that's for sure. And Dan Evans looks so frustrated. He looks like he's going to go smash up the locker room. He puts his hand up, but he does not look happy. He knows that was a chance wasted. He should have taken that to at least five sets. And he looks absolutely livid, genuinely. And it's BG1 says, uh, woohoo, well done, Corder. Yeah, well done, Corder, indeed. Winning 6-3. 366364. Should we go through the stats? I think we should. Uh, guys in the chat, we've got quite a few people as well. Please do remember to smash a like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Read us help. Thank you very much. Um, and of course, I, I don't know. Do we have do we have super chat capabilities? I have absolutely no idea. But if we do and you want to contribute, then please do, obviously. Um, just help the channel. Well, let's have a looky here. So, set one. We don't want to look at set one. We'll look at the match stats. So, if look at this. This is, the, this is a big difference. I mean, there's a four double faults each. You might think, okay, well, you know, four double faults each. Pretty even, no, because there's 13 aces to zero. Not a single ace from Dan Evans. And he's serving, to be fair, at like just under 120 miles per hour. But wasn't really spot serving. It is one of those serves that it's just a, it's to start the rally. And I'm like, what? What do you mean to start the rally? Get on with it. Like, come on. Come on, guys. We've got over 12 people in the chat. No one's liked the video. I can see. Come on, guys. Make sure you smash the like button, please. It really does help. Really, really does help. Please do. Um, it does help. So 13 aces. And look at 62%. First set percentage to 64% from uh, Dan Evans. Okay. First set points one. I mean, that's pretty even there, right? But it's a second set of points one. There is a difference there, 59% to 43%. Um, and if we have a look at winners and unforced errors, it's interesting because quarter obviously are 43 to 50, 21 to 18. So it shows, right? Actually, it was a pretty even match. And watching it, it didn't look like he was outclassed, Dan Evans. He missed and didn't play the big points as well as Corder, simple as that big. And Seb Corder just said it actually in his interview. He said, I played the big points well. And he did. And that's what made the biggest difference. Alex Big One says, Corder comes up with effortless power, should have a good career. Yeah, agreed. He really should. Um, he will go far, I think. I think he'll go far. I wouldn't be surprised if he wins a Grand Slam in, in a few years. Um, he seems to have all the ingredients to do very well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how he does going forward. Uh, very, very good player. Uh, very good talent as well, um, which is really, really good. Oh, I'll tell you what, so you've got Murray and Shapovalov, obviously. Uh, Djokovic, right? Djokovic won beating Kudler in straight sets. Um Yeah, he's talking about his dad and his sister obviously doing really well. But um yeah, his turn, right? He he doesn't want to he wants bragging rights on the dinner table and at the moment it's definitely not him, it's a, it's his sister. His sister's doing fantastically well in, in the golf, so uh, he needs to do it. Uh Usman Saeed Osman Saeed, sorry, says, What's your prediction for Murray versus Chapo? Thanks, Osman, for joining. I would say um I would say that my prediction is Shapovalov, unfortunately. Um, I actually want Murray to win, but realistically, as well, the thing is, I only want Murray to win if he's going to win in like three or four sets. If it goes to five sets, it's not sustainable. Like, he will just get destroyed physically. And I just can't see him winning in three or four sets, realistically. I think Shapovalov is very young. He's got really good tools for the grass. Um, he's got a good game for the grass. He really does. And He's just young, fresh, and I, I, we'll see. I mean, the crowd will be behind Murray, so I think that's the only way I can see him potentially getting something right from from it. But let's see. Let's see. I, I think it will be closer than potentially 
people might think. I can see him maybe losing like six four, six four, six four, something like that. Six four, seven five, seven five. You know. Let's see though. Let's see. Eh. Eighty one May says not a fan of Dan Evans. Just seems like an angry little man. It's a weird one, right? Because like I talked to Stephen from the slice, and he had Dan, Dan Evans on his show, and he said that he's a really nice guy. So I think how he portrays himself on court maybe doesn't doesn't a bit of a disservice to how he actually is. Yeah. Uh, guys, uh, thank you as well for everyone who has joined. Please do remember to smash the like button before you go. I really do appreciate it. I will be doing some of the Murray Shapovalov game uh, later, so do tune in uh, for that. It'll be on a separate stream. Uh, but for yeah, thank you everyone who has uh, tuned in as well. I do appreciate it. Uh, do leave a like, do leave a comment, and share the videos as well. I appreciate everyone uh, who does join the videos. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Thank you. and. Uh, well, I'll be there for the Murray Shepard Valov match. Let's see how that goes, eh?